What up guys, it is XGen Framps here and I am making another tutorial on After Effects CS 5.5 and basically today I'm going to do like the warping or like the screen fuzz or whatever you call it. There's more like the weight, like kind of like wave effect. I don't even know. People call it different things. But so I just made a new composition and imported my clip and as you all know I drag that shit out and just for the sake of me I'm gonna add a quick color correction this is not a part of the tutorial so I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing I'm just gonna use one in here I'm not gonna really make one for now okay that's fine. All right. I just wanted a color correction on it because I like color correction. If you want a magic bullet looks tutorial, get me. We'll say ten, ten likes on this video for a magic bullet looks tutorial. Um. Even though I'm not that good at ma magic bullet looks. Okay. So what I'm basically gonna do first is find your point where you want like the effect to go so usually you do it on music where like it's the f like something goes like wah wah or like maybe like for like smaller waves just do it like where something is like how do I explain it I don't know where something like makes a, a sound like so like kinda like a concussion or something sound so it's just really different ways they can do with this effect. So the effect is called. You can either go to. I like just going here to the effects and preset and typing in wave warp and then drag it onto your clip. And then as you can see, it just comes up with that. So what you want to do is you just want to drag or just put it to zero the wave height and wave width put them to zero and then you'll get your clip back to normal and then so uh, let's do it on the reload so yeah so we're gonna do it as soon as he goes right here so what you basically want to do it depends if you want it to like come in and like have small then keyframe it accordingly but we're just gonna do so Go zero, no, not wave type. Uh, click the stopwatch on wave height. Click the stopwatch on wave width, and make sure it's at height is at zero and width is at one. And then just put your drop down arrow down here for your effect for your clip, and then go to effects, wave warp, and then you'll have your keyframe thing. So then just click. Just go to where you want it to stop, and we'll put it as soon as he puts the gun in. So then we're gonna go click both keyframes for height and width, and then just uh, so go to your go to the, stay at those keyframes, and then just come over here where preview, and click this button, pre previous frame. That will take you to the previous frame, obviously. Should just click it twice. So go to two. Pr depends. It really depends. So just you get the basic idea of what I'm doing, right? So then, however you want it, with you can move it up. Hmm. let's go so this is really just adjusted on your own because everybody likes different types of things so I don't know that's okay so see as you can see like see how I have it at zero and one here and then so it can like start like it can move up so it can change but I like it I want it at the same 
So we're just going to see what it was again. So it's at 11 and 12 and 27. So we're just going to go one keyframe over. Click there. Type in 12. 27 and as you can see we just have this wave it's staying still though so we don't want that so now we're gonna go to your second keyframe where you put your actual thing or your first whichever one and then click phase and keep that at zero for the first and then go to your last keyframes where it ends and just bring it out to our if you want the waves to be like moving faster drag it out more if you want them to move in slower uh, drag it out less so and actually yeah okay let's move this in a little bit All right. so now we're going to s just drag this out so it selects all no no drag this out so it selects all my keyframes because I want to go on for a little longer so now I'm gonna render preview that and yeah this effect you can do it in multiple ways so this is like the bigger waves and then So there's the basic idea of how to do the waves, like the bigger waves. And yeah, we have time. So I'm going to just show you how to do the smaller waves. So just move these in a little bit again. Smaller waves, you don't want them on for long. So I like, my personal favorite is having the wave height at 6. So now I'm just adjusting the, the inside keyframes here, right? To, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So then adjusting the width. To five so as you can see it looks like that so it's more like for like a screen fuzz or something and then you go to five again so now as you can see and then also you might I'm gonna add some uh, like direction to it so you sometimes people don't want it just straight especially for this effect for the normal wave people usually like just having it at the standard zero right but I like especially when you're having like the smaller waves to go to 115 that's what I found looks the best for the direction so let me just okay that's good enough 114 so as you can see it's kind of diagonal now and it looks like that so as you can see it's coming boom like that goes like that and then comes off so this looks great for twixter like fuzzy like sounds or in your sound that you can just sync this with um, yeah so this is just remember that these tutorials are just basic ideas of how to do the effect that you can use to uh, to put into practice like I'm just showing you how to do it you put it into practice because I don't want to make you guys just tutorial editors where you just copy the tutorial I want you guys to learn from these not just copy them so there you go guys um, so you can make these you can sort of fiddle around with this effect showed you the basic idea of it and yeah peace guys